Hey guys, it's Danielle. I am here because I am going to go ahead and give some basic Canva tips for you today. Um, I want to make a note that when I'm in Canva, I am in Canva Pro. So some of the features I have might be a little bit different, but we are going to go ahead and make some basic Canva images for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to start off with doing, um, you're going to go to create design and I like to personally do Instagram posts square. I like that it's square. I like that it sets up already for me. Now you can go ahead and choose one of the pre designs that Canva has set up. But today I'm doing something very basic. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to search elements. I'm going to do Easter eggs. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit search all and I'm going to pick the Easter egg bunch that I really like. Um, just scrolling through. And you know what? I personally, oh, well, that might be fun. Let's see what that looks like. No, nah, it's not what I'm kind of thinking I want. Yes, that is what I want. All right. So I have the basket. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can go ahead and resize it. And then I'm going to go over to where it says text. And I'm going to go ahead and name it Golden Eggs. Golden Egg. Okay. So these are, this is a game that I'm going to be doing on social media. I'm just going to make an image for it. So it's going to say golden egg. And I want to make this a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go to transparency and I'm going to go down to 75% just to make it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. All right. So it's going to say golden egg. Now, because this is a pink saber thing, I have to go ahead and... Uh, at the independent consultant logo. Now, I personally already have the independent consultant logo saved to my computer. But for those of you who don't know, if you're in your back office, you're going to go under resources and you're going to go to logos and you can go to independent consultant and save the logo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to just resize it to where I want it to be and add it to my image. And then because I personally have decided to start branding myself, I do have a watermark that I utilize. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and grab that. As you see, I have tons of images for tons of different things here already. I'm going to go ahead and scroll, 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 and grab my little watermark over here. Doo -doo -doo. Maybe if it's going to let me. There we go. Oh, now I got it twice. <laughs> of course. All right, so I got my watermark. I'm going to go ahead and resize that over to where I wanted to for the size and the location that I wanted to. And we'll just go ahead and resize it again. There we go. And then I got the image I want to make for my job form for my TikTok page. So super easy, okay? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to duplicate the page because I already like where my independent consultant and my Pink Zebra logo is. So all you have to do is click this little button, hit duplicate page. But the cool thing is, is I can go ahead. I can take this out. And then my next game is going to be called Craft Bakes. I'm going to go ahead and find an image that I want. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. All right. So we're going to do go grab that. Oh, I'm changing it to pink. Sorry. They told me pink. Oh, this is a fun one I want to show you. So you see here when I click on it up here, these come up. So that means if I want to, I can go ahead and change the color. So I can take that white. And the white can change to purple or blue or whatever colors you want. So I use a lot of purples and pinks in my images. So I'm going to go ahead and actually make it to purple and pink. Love it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, not all images are like that. As you see with this one, it does not give me that little color box here. But this one, it gave me those color boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. I'm going to just go ahead, slide it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my words and change it to a craft. Alrighty, so then I have my a craft image and I have my golden egg image, and I'm going to go ahead, upload that, uh, download them. You're going to go to share button. You can go ahead, download them, and then I will have them ready to go for myself to um, be able to uh, share 
and party with uh, people on my social media pages. I'm going to actually make that a little bit bigger. All right. So there you go. There are my two game images that I just made. This is super simple, easy, basic Canva. Um, but something I wanted to share with you guys as well. So guys, I appreciate you taking time with me today, learning a little bit about the ins and outs of how to use the simple basics of Canva. I will be sharing with you guys more and more tips on how to use Canva to make yourself an image pro. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.